All right, YouTube, what do we got going on here? Oh my God, freaking fully loaded MacBook Pro, ready to be freaking torn apart. This is like the calm before the storm right now. All right, so why do I have a brand new MacBook Pro? Well, first of all, here's my old laptop, the MacBook Air. And this is honestly, I believe the first generation of MacBook Air. It doesn't even have the light up keyboard. This thing is so old. Hold on, I believe this is eight years old. Do you know how much technology changes in eight years? And I'm self-employed. So that means everything I do on my computer is how I make a living. And when I got a slow piece of crap, I can't get anything done. When, when I got a screaming desktop, I'm freaking flying through things. So now as I look at laptops, I'm thinking, okay, I'm gonna have this thing for the next eight years. So what do we gotta do? We gotta max this thing out. We gotta make sure this thing's ahead of the curve and ready for the next eight years. It's finally time for a brand new freaking laptop. YouTube, we are gathered here today to celebrate this fully loaded MacBook Pro. By a normal dude too. I'm not a media company. I'm a guy who saved his money, freaking bought a MacBook Pro after eight years, and uh, is ready to open this damn thing. So uh, if you're enjoying the video, definitely hit like. Uh, please leave a comment. I'd love to uh, hear from you guys, and uh, please subscribe. I'll upload it all the time. So thanks again. Let's get to work. All right, so the two things we need for any unboxing, our knife and our coffee. Cheers. First of all, packaging. Look at it, classic Apple style. Very clean, very simple. Love it, great job Apple. Let's tear this thing apart. All right, there is our first cut. There is our second cut. There is our third cut. And you know what? That might be all we need right there, look at that. That may be all we need the knife for. Here we go. We are going to pull off the cover right here and right now to our brand new MacBook Pro. Oh, 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 oh my lord! God! YouTube, do you realize what is going on here? Seriously, look at this thing. Over the next eight years, everything that happens on this, all my projects, any of my business stuff, like, it's all gonna be happening on this machine. I have no idea what's even gonna happen, but this is the start to a new phase of life. All right, so now as we're holding our brand new MacBook Pro for the first time ever, I gotta pick up this old one. I gotta compare the two. Here's the MacBook Air. Now, when I think about laptops, I want them to be as mobile as possible. So that's why I was always a fan of the MacBook Air. 11 inch, very small, very light, fits into a backpack. I can take it anywhere. You don't even know it's there. And I've been waiting for a new one forever, but they never seem to upgrade it. And even in this last round, when these new MacBook Pros came out, I started to realize, oh my gosh, they may not even be continuing to do these because the size of the MacBook Pros are starting to get so small and so light. And now weight wise, they're almost identical. I can't feel anything that's one that's really heavier than the other. I would expect the MacBook Pro to be, but it's honestly almost identical. The other interesting part, this is an 11 inch screen. This is a 13 inch screen. Check this out. They are almost, almost the exact same width. Look at how close they line up. It's just the MacBook Pro is slightly uh, taller as well. So I'm getting two more inches of screen space in this new MacBook Pro. Not only that, it's going to be screaming faster. It's gonna be so freaking epic. All right, so moving on here, what else we got in the package here? Looks like we've got uh, our beautifully wrapped um, charging port, I believe. And look at this, brand new char I, It's crazy to even think about these new ports and everything. I'm actually really excited uh, for these to change and uh, kind of move on to something new. I really enjoy new things in my life. A couple decals, look at that. There's that charging port right there. And now, oh shit, that's it. That's literally it, look at that. That is all that's in the freaking box. Look, you got your laptop, 
your charger, and your little manual decals. That's, it's brilliant. It's so simple. That's our unboxing. Let's fire this baby up. Wait, what's that? Oh, oh, uh oh. We got more. We got more along with the new MacBook Pro. I ordered a handful of things to go with it, so I'm fully prepared. We've got our new uh, Beats wireless headphones. I've got a brand new uh, Magic Mouse, and I also prepared for uh, the USB-C uh, to USB adapters. I actually ordered four of them, just so I was fully prepared for converting to the new um, USB-C port. And I'm actually very excited about it, because here's the thing. When I look at my entire life, anything I've ever done, it's always the moments where I've changed something that has led to the most exciting and the best parts of my life. Uh, leaving my job, my full-time job, and moving to self-employment seven, eight years ago. And that was very scary, very uncomfortable, but I did it, I tried it, I tried something new, and you never know what's gonna happen, you know? We signed a lease on our own warehouse. I was 25 years old. Sign and lease on a warehouse. We built our own indoor bike park. That was six years ago, and now we're still there today. One of the greatest parts of my life. But it's always those risky changes, the ones you're not comfortable with, that you never know what it's gonna lead to. And so when I look at technology, it's the same way, you know? So I don't mind changing and using a little adapter uh, to plug in, you know, anything I rarely plug in anyways. I don't use the, the ports too often. You know, on my old MacBook Air, they removed the disk drive. And everyone was freaking about that back then, but who's really using disk drives anymore? Seriously. There, quick unboxing on the uh, new little uh, USB-C to USB uh, adapter. Looks great, real simple. I already, uh, when I put my laptop away, I, I already have to carry the the charging port as well, so I might as well just add this to it. Not a big deal. Life moves on, right? Look at this, we got stuff all the freaking Apple party out here. Look at all this stuff. Change the way you hear sound. Is that not epic or what? Were we not just talking about change right here? That's exactly what I want to see in there. Look at those things. Very simple. Very, I love the, just the, the weight, everything. And from what I hear, these are very great headphones. So I can't wait to try these things out. All right, let's get back to the real reason why we are all here today. And that is because we have a brand new MacBook Pro. And we are gonna open this right now. I'm actually gonna take off the casing right here. They've got it all nicely wrapped. And I decided to go with the uh, I believe it's called the space gray uh, color there. And it looks absolutely incredible. And you know what? Look at the thinness of this as well. I, I know we talked about the size and the weight, but look at the actual size. Nearly identical to the MacBook Air. It's actually, I would say, thinner. Look at this. Look at that. That is absolutely incredible. Here we go. First time ever opening my brand new MacBook Pro. Oh, God, look at that. That's incredible. Seriously, this is amazing. It's firing up. It's been open for probably about 10 seconds now, and already it's asking us to set up. Incredible. Oh, and look. Look at that! Look at that new, oh my, the new touchpad here. The new touchpad. Oh, wow. All right guys, time to geek out here. What are we actually working with? 
Uh, we've got a 3.3 gigahertz dual core Intel Core i7 processor. I turbo boosted up all the way up to 3.6. That's 16 gigs of RAM, 512 uh, SSD storage, uh, which I switched to SSD storage on my last MacBook Air. Freaking love it. Screaming fast, and I've never had any problems with it. So, uh, to track, force touch, track, tip, 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 today, Junior. Uh, the force touch trackpad, and also the new uh, touch bar at the top. Oh, I'm really excited about that because I feel like there's gonna be a huge productivity boost there. If you can take certain applications and assign certain keys and certain shortcuts into that bar. And even, uh, I'm assuming Apple has that open to developers. Um, otherwise, we got backlit keyboard. And uh, which I've never had as well, so I'm gonna be in the nightclub freaking working. <laughs> uh, seriously, this thing is fully freaking loaded. Ready for action, ready for battle. So, first impressions here this thing is screaming fast. And compared to my old laptop, just the buttons and the touchpad and everything, it's just everything is so just like spot on and perfect. Dude, and I didn't even notice as the sun's going down, that light up keyboard is just. Perfect. I've never had a light up keyboard. This is just, God, I can't wait for nighttime. So, and I believe, oh, there it is. Dude, I didn't even realize. It's asking for uh, Touch ID right now, which is going to be nuts. I didn't even think about that. I mean, this is just, God, this is so exciting. Seriously, this thing, it's all finished. Check this thing out. We're all done, ready to rock ready for battle. So the, the edge of the screen actually goes out so much further than my old laptop. And just by having all that extra screen space, it's just, I, that's what I have the, my 5K iMac and then I have a whole separate uh, 27 inch um, uh, 4K monitor as well. So having extra screen space is always good. But mobily, I don't mind having a small screen. And so I love this uh, little, uh, 11 inch and just look here compare the uh, the two sizes here. It definitely adds a lot Look at that It's nearly the same size of machine the overall size of it all same weight and everything so uh, It's this is this is gonna be incredible. Look at the two machines side by side there. All right check out this touch bar You can actually uh, change the screen brightness everything there and you've got audio Right there and it looks like Siri. Hi Siri, how you doing? I'm as happy as Finder. Actually, no, no one's as happy as Finder. No one's as happy as Finder, what the heck? The touch bar has actually changed. There's actually tag colors, there's uh, sorting, all that stuff. So that is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful parts of this brand new laptop because that touch bar is going to be changing based on the application. And as the um, evolution of this touch bar changes, developers, I would assume, are going to start uh, writing into their programs different shortcuts and buttons in there. So can you imagine editing, just having a little uh, split clip, just having a shortcut for that, or just anything. Um, who knows what, what, what could be uh, built into that? Because a normal keyboard, you can't touch it, you can't change it. Software developers can't do anything with it. So that, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful parts of this new laptop. But here's the problem. I'm gonna get used to this touch bar, and then I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna have this. There's no touch bar there. However, I have a feeling if this is the direction Apple is going, very soon we're likely going to see a touch bar right here on the desktop wireless keyboards. Dude, this massive trackpad is just insane. Yeah, audio, everything is just phenomenal on this thing. And another thing I didn't notice, this laptop didn't have a retina display. It didn't have a great display. It was really, it was one of, probably the oldest display I have in my life right now. And we can be done with that. This display is perfectly clear, perfectly uh, just, very crisp and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Another perfect Apple product. What a day we have had here today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is a, this is a life highlight and I'm glad we could experience this together. If you have any questions, please uh, leave a comment. Uh, I'm gonna be on this thing 
every day. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, if you like the video, please click like and uh, please subscribe. I just got a brand new uh, Canon 80D camera that I'm filming with. I even did an unboxing on that. I'll get that out here soon as well. Thanks again. Uh, have a great uh, 2017 and uh, we'll see you soon. Yo guys, just want to say thanks for watching. Uh, it's crazy because a lot of my edits actually come out months after they're filmed. But if you want to see what I'm doing right here, right now, hit me up on any social media. Check this place out. Machu Picchu.